Yuri, Vulture and Electro are down. Four to go. I saw. Also noticed a rooftop in Times Square exploded. Wouldn't happen to be related, would it? Nothing gets by you. It was Octavius' staging ground. He's using the villains to pull apart Oscorp. Vulture and Electro were targeting power plants. Scorpion's going after water treatment. Not sure about Rhino yet. Something along the shoreline. That's good enough to start. I assume you're going after Scorpion? Yeah. City's already on the brink. If we lose clean water, we might never come back. I'll update you when I make progress. Sounds like a plan. On miles. Hey Pete, you okay? That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine, but you and May are in the middle of it. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Yeah, I heard that. Just make sure you protect yourself. Mask and gloves, now and then. Well, that goes double for May. <sighs> Nobody can make that woman take a break when she doesn't want to. But I'll do my best. Thanks, Miles. Give May my love, and be safe. Convicts escape. Time to hoof it. Crazy Violet Joyride officially stopped. Better take a closer look. Now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa, what the, is that a sea of poison? Can't be, this can't be real. 
Must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground and analyze whatever he injected me with. Should be safe for a minute. We need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Scorpions made some upgrades. Hallucinogenic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Can be both. Cuck? It's just the hallucinations intensifying. You can get through this. Doc, you sound like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you somehow. Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times your unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really will. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. Makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really that important to you, why would you let me destroy myself? I can help you. It's the neural web. It's affecting your mind. You mean the neural web you helped create. The hard truth is you did this to me. Without your help, I would have never done any of those terrible things. 
Should have seen what was happening to you. Never left you alone with those arms. Good luck. I wish I could offer you more help. Stay strong, Peter. There's the Eclipse to Alba. Research station was developing a synthetic atropine. Gotta get there fast. Giant deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, brain. How you feeling, spider? Raw panic crawling up your spine. Scorpion? How'd you get this number? Always asking of these interesting questions. <laughs> it's not how am I calling you? It's am I calling you? Maybe I'm just the fever screams of your dying brain. Real or no, when I cure this poison, I'm coming for you, Mac. We <laughs> talk from the little bug. Have fun chasing pink elephants. Too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society found inconvenient. The parts of myself I suppressed. But you helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you. You're a bad. Running for me! Let me try! Stop running for me! Let me try! I want nothing from you! You're a failure. At life, love, career, you bring nothing but pain! No, stop! I'm not giving up on you! Please, just talk to me! I can help you! So you can treat me like all the rest? Containing me? Suffocating me? No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am your friend, Otto. There it is. The atropine. Now I 
just need to mix up the antidote. Looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Still with us? And nearly cured. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, man. Don't worry. There's plenty of surprises left for you. We're in need of each other again. Count on it. I need to mix the antidote. had an imaginary glass jaw. Not gonna be that easy. Sure it is. Now I know you're the poison trying to distract me. Bring it on. Barely stand up. There's the centrifuge I need. Finally, I'm ready. I think I did it. Where'd my suit go? I think I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened.
head's still foggy. Need to work the last of the poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol. kind of thorny ethical question at Toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you. When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? Mm. That obvious, huh? Mm. Yeah, understandable, though. Man. The high mind is generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Ground teams... Okay. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. Maybe I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to feet. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles.
Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. All units 1034. Repeat, assault reported. Officers needed in Gramercy. Please copy. Hey, MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Combing through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but... You remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten-hour odyssey for burnt toast and cold American cheese. How can I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. You know, it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, let's put the team up. I thought you were a loner. Ah, means an M folk. Yeah. All of life is means an egg. Uh. What's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more fuel! No more Rhino! Chats. You are funny, Molly. I am almost so. 
Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Garga, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. <laughs> So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about it? The we murdered Spider-Man and used his corpse for a blanket. Thanks. Gargan, please! You had better to go! Gotta get Scorpion on the ground. Gadgets might help. Get him, you idiot! Get him! Come down and help, Rock! Guys, please! There's plenty of me to go around! Move it, Jarkin! Watch where you're going, you idiot! Watch where you stand! Rhino's getting his suit removed! What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Gargan has no principle. He fights for profit. Untrue. I'd rip Spider-Man's face off for free. The money's the focus.
talking to me. I'll take care of you after I finish the fuck! My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Didn't I hear you took a poetry class in the raft? Like a therapy thing? Da, here is latest. Along came Spider. I sat down beside him, then crushed his tiny body to bits. Delightful. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. state and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. 